Hello water friends, my name is Eduardo and thank you for joining us today for this moment of prayer. As we approach the celebrations of Holy Week, let us turn to Jesus who invites us to follow him to the Calvary, then to the experience of the resurrection. In the midst of these difficult days, we know that we cannot physically come together to pray and support one another. Therefore, we thank you for joining us today online so that we can continue to pray for one another and live as a community of faith and hope. In our short reflection today, let us remember in a special way those who are currently ill or isolated for the poor with their different faces, who are the ones who are suffering the most from these difficult days. We also pray for all those who have lost their lives to COVID-19 around the world. We pray for their families and for all who are grieving. And let us begin our time of prayer together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Lord God, friend of the poor, help us to encounter you in your dwelling among the most humble of our sisters and brothers. May we learn from them the ways of your kingdom. Amen. And now, my friends, I would like to share with you a reading from the prophet Jeremiah. I will read it twice with a short pause in between so as to help God's word to find a home in our hearts. For I hear many whisperings, terror is all around. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All my close friends are watching for me to stumble. Perhaps he can be enticed and we can prevail against him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me like a dread warrior. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble and they will not prevail. They will be greatly shamed, for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. O Lord of hosts, you test the righteous. You see the heart and the mind. Let me see your retribution upon them, for to you I have committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the needy from the hands of evil doers. For I hear many whisperings, Terror is all around. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All my close friends are watching for me to stumble. Perhaps he can be enticed and we can prevail against him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me like a dread warrior. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble and they will not prevail. They will be greatly shamed, for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. O Lord of hosts, you test the righteous. You see the heart and the mind. Let me see your retribution upon them. For to you I have committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, 
for he has delivered the life of the needy from the hands of evil doers. My friends, the prophet Jeremiah has confidently opened his soul to God and complained. The mission entrusted to him only brings him misfortunes. When Jeremiah proclaims the word of God, he hears no other response but the accusations and calumnies of the people. He would like to forget everything, but he cannot, because God is like a burning fire that lights him up inside him. Amid such pain, the zeal for the Lord shines. Indeed, my friends, just as happens to Jeremiah, those who have experienced the love of God cannot contain the desire to speak of him to those who do not know him. Still, Jeremiah is certain that the Lord never abandons him. The prophet's words reflect the confidence that God will not leave him. Jeremiah did not abandon his mission but persevere in it until the end of his days. My friends, like Jeremiah, the invitation for today is to be open to the presence of God in our lives and to be sure that God works with us. As we bring our time of prayer to a close, let us pray together. Open our eyes to see all those who live in misery. Inspire in us words of truth when we meet with our brothers and sisters who are lonely and abandoned. Give us the courage we need to assist those who live in misery and oppression. Make your church a place of truth and freedom, of justice and peace, so that all people may find in her a motive for hope. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, let us turn to Our Lady as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and upon your families and remain with you forever. Amen. Thank you, my friends, for joining us today.